What's up? What's up, everybody? Hold on. I gotta like some. It's a little dark up in here today. It's your girl, Lady T Boss Up. You already know who it is. You guys, we're at 102 subscribers. Ay, ay, ay. What you guys doing today on this good old damp, foggy, misty Saturday morning? The girl back at work today, you guys already know. When the money calls, I answer. I just want to come on here and just say thank you guys so, so much for getting for getting my page up to 102 subscribers. I'm not stopping there. We are going above and beyond. I'm just taking baby steps, you guys know. I'm not uh, a perfectionist or the biggest uh, YouTuber on YouTube, you know, I'm just taking baby steps trying to get where I need to be, but I would be nothing, you guys, without all the love and the support that you guys show my page and you show me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Without you guys, I am nothing. This video is going to be a little different. It's not only a we made it to 102 subscribers video, but it's also to say thank you to my haters. Even at this late date, I am still getting backlash off of the old Young Mellow video that I did months ago and one of the videos that I did in August of last year. It's almost a whole year, you guys. Get over it, let it go, get out of your feelings. If you guys haven't realized the real Mellow by now, that's on y'all. The rest of us that know who the real Mellow is, we have learned to deal with it and move on with our life. Don't keep coming on my page with that bullshit. Because I'm trying to tell you, I will keep blocking y'all. But of course, you're just going to make a new page and come back. Don't come on my page talking shit and you only have one or two subscribers. You can say, I look like Mello. Baby, I look nothing like Mello. I might be a big girl, but the difference between me and Mello is, is that I'm actually trying to lose weight to better myself for my health and my family. So don't come on here with that fucking yada yada rah rah bullshit like you built like that when you're just a motherfucking keyboard gangster, Facebook gangster, and motherfucking YouTube gangster. But if you want to continue to be up in your feelings because of an old video, then that's your right. I'll just block your dumb asses. You keep coming back, I'll just block your dumb ass. But this video is not about my haters. It's about my supporters, my family, my fans. Like I said, you guys, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so, so much. I am nothing without you guys. Like, absolutely nothing. When we get to enough subscriber, you guys, to where I'm actually um allowed to do more things on my channel that's what we're going to do but right now we're just taking baby steps thank you guys for being patient with me i'm not i don't have the best content in the world still using my phone at this late date i want to um i'll probably get my laptop out of the pawn shop uh probably next friday when i get paid because the, my resolution on my laptop is a lot better than my daughter's laptop so i think that's what i'm gonna do um, let's get my laptop out. I wanted to get the, uh, the Galaxy Note 3 or 5, but when I went back to get it from the pawn shop, somebody had beat me to it, which I knew I should have put that bitch in layaway, y'all, but it is what it is. I'll, I'll get a Galaxy Note sometime or another, or I want an iPhone, iPhone 5 or 6, but we'll see. But right now I have other things to do. I got to start stacking my paper for Christmas. Go ahead and start that because Christmas is right around the corner. I'm not too really much worried about doing anything for my birthday this year, which is in August. Um, I'm just happy and blessed to be alive to reach the age of 32. I was a premature baby, you guys. You guys didn't know that about me, but I was. I was, huh, oh gosh. I was so small, y'all. Like, I was in the hospital for a long time. My heart stopped a couple of times. They had to bring me back. They told my mom I wouldn't live to see the age of five. Here I am, 31 years old, y'all, with a 12-year-old daughter, married. And it's, it's a blessing. All the premature babies out there, you guys know the, the stories. You know the struggle. I feel where you're coming from. You feel where I'm coming from. You know, you never know what God has planned for you. And my mama said she should have named me Miracle because I was her Miracle Baby. But I'm kind of glad she did name me my name. Um, but 
You know, you, you never give up because you don't know what God's plan is for you. This is why, you know, despite all the negative inboxes that I have got, all the negative comments that I have got on here, you guys are not going to deter me from leaving from YouTube. It's just it's just freaking crazy. I mean, I understand people have freedom of speech. You have a right to your own opinion. But once again, and trust and believe me, if you guys haven't got it by now, you haters, you're not going to get it. If if you don't want to take the time enough to go out and look at the rest of my videos and see that I don't fuck with Young Mellow no more like that, then that's on y'all. But like I said, once again, this is not about y'all. This is about my fans and my supporters. I'm going to be doing... A shout out video, you guys. Probably, I think I was supposed to do it Thursday, but be honest with y'all, I was so tired. Excuse me, I was so tired, I just forgot. So I will probably do a shout out video either tomorrow, which is Sunday, or I might do one Monday. Um, I probably put my hubby and a daughter up in the video while I'm doing the shout out video. Just remember, you guys, if you would like to be shouted out. Don't forget to comment under either this video or my previous video. Or you can just comment under any video that you want and be like, hey, shout me out. I have no problem. I'm going to actually check and see. I'm not going to do this right now. Actually, I'm not going to do this until I reach at least probably a 1,000 subscribers. Um, I want to get a P.O. box. I'm, I just want fan mail. I don't want, you know, no gifts. None of that. I just want to be able to communicate with some of my fans, you know what I'm saying, on a different basis. But you guys let me know. I might and I might not get a P.O. box. I might just leave it like this because there's so many haters out here in the world. I don't got time for that crazy BS to be coming to my P.O. box because I ain't got time for it. So I don't I don't know yet. By the time I reach a 1,000 subscribers, I've been made up my mind whether or not I'm going to get a P.O. box or not. Um... What I'm also trying to do is I'm I've actually been looking at a um well I've been looking at a couple of YouTube pages of some of the women on here and some of the men that's actually doing the hair tutorials. I would love, 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 love to freaking get better equipment, you guys, so I can show you guys in better light how I do my hair so I can do better hair tutorials, so I can do makeup tutorials. I know I have my um tablet. Like I told y'all, the freaking charger don't charge it. I still ain't ordered one. I think I'm going to order one next week when I get paid. Just leave enough money on my bank card so I can um, so I can order one off of Amazon and eBay. I think when I went on there and looked, I think the cheapest one I seen on there was like 10 or $15, I think, which is not bad. I'm going to try that and see if that helps the tablet out and if it does. And I think I'm going to use the tablet to start doing some of my videos, but I haven't been using it because the sucker won't keep charge. And my husband told me to take it back to the pawn shop, but I'm just like, Ugh, you know what? I didn't feel like driving back up there, y'all. He spent all that money on it, and anyway, I bet you some of y'all like, bitch, you stupid, you should have took it back. But I really like that tablet. I just want to, I want to get a charger for it before I go back and take it back, and it was just, the charger wasn't the right charger for it. So, I'm going to do that, you guys, and we're going to see how that goes. But like I said, as far as the P.O. box, you guys give me your opinion. Do you think I should get one? But this is only, you guys, when we get to a 1,000 subscribers. So, this, this might take a while. You know, it, it might take a while. Um, You know, you guys give me your opinions. Weigh in. You know, tell me what you think. But, like I said, I'm not really trying to do anything drastic until we hit a 1,000 subscribers. You know, I know you guys take your time to come out here and talk to me. At least what I can do for the meantime is make my content better. So even before I reach 1,000 subscribers, I might just be kind of changing the location of where I do my videos. Uh, majority of them probably come from when I'm at work now that I'm on third shift. And you can actually see me a lot better at nighttime in here than you can in the daytime. It is, um, let's see. It is 7.13 a.m. in the morning, sorry, the morning. So the lightning in here is not the best. So maybe later on it'll get a little bit better, but I have noticed that it works better at nighttime than it does in the daytime. But yeah, once again, you guys, I just want to say thank you. I'm about to head out and do a couple of rounds this morning. 
But I just wanted to say, I just want to come on here and say thank you guys so, so much. Oh, another thing. Um, you guys notice I have it up in a ponytail today, right? Let me, let, let, let me turn around. Let me turn around. Did you guys see? Did you see? Do I need to do a close-up? Do I need to do a close-up? Hold on, let me. Do I need to do a close-up? Maybe, maybe. You see it? You see the back? Okay. What I did do, you guys, remember, um, I told you guys in the last hair video that, um, with a video before the last hair video that the razor comb was not working. I think it was the razors that I used out of my husband's, um, shaver. It was, it won't, I don't think it was the right razor for the razor comb. And it was like cutting the hair instead of shedding it. It was cutting my length off. So I was just like, oh, I can't use it. But the other day, I was like, y'all, this shit is so thick. I can't, I couldn't even put it in a ponytail like this, you guys, because it was so freaking thick. So what I did was I just went ahead and used the razor comb again. And just and I was just very careful when I was cutting, shedding the hair. And it, and it turned out pretty good. Now, uh, this side is still a little thicker, just a little bit than this side. I don't, I don't know why, because... I don't know why my hair always come out lump sided like that, y'all. But when I take it down, it's very, very pretty. I did not, um, I did not cut layers into this hair. That's what I've been feeling, crawling on my neck, on my neck. I was smacking myself in the neck, you guys, before I came on here, and I wanted to just smack myself just now, but I didn't want y'all to think I was crazy. But I'm glad I saw that because. I thought it was like a bug or something. Now you want to freak out on camera, y'all. But, um, oh, I did not cut this hair on layers. Only thing I did, y'all, when I took it out of the pack, I cut that sucker in half right there at the rubber band, and I installed it. I don't know if anybody else noticed, noticed this, but when I do my hair like that, it naturally gives itself its own layers. I don't put... 22 in the back and 20 then 18 and 14. I don't do all that. I ain't, ain't got time for all that. So basically it gave itself its own layers. What I did was I did kind of shape the face. I didn't really shape it much. I just shaped the face and I went in, you know, I just grabbed the section, shredded it, not shredded it, uh, shedded it. I think that's the word I'm looking for. And that was it, grabbed another section and call it a day. I really don't worry too much about putting layers in this or, you know, getting it perfect. The only thing I do want to be kind of perfect is the back when I have it down. Because as y'all seen in the last video, I believe, or I think I might have deleted it before I could post it. It was like one little piece that was like long. And if I had my razor, I could have raised it. But I used the scissors and, and you can tell it was a blunt cut and it was just a hot mess. But I believe I fixed it. I added a couple more pieces um, in the back. Um, what I did do in the back when I braided all my hair going back, I tried to braid it all coming this way and sew it. That didn't work out. I tried to do it this way. It was pulling too much on this side. So I just braided them in the middle. I put a rubber band on it. I sewed it. And I took the hair that was at the end of the rubber band. I unraveled it, made it loose. I straightened it. I put hair around it so when I put it up, you can't tell that there's like a little bulge right here with a rubber band, which is fine with me. I don't do my hair to make other people happy. I do my hair to make me happy. And this was the best way that I can do it to keep from it pulling the hair on my nape so much because I hate that. My husband will tell you I hate for the hair on my neck to pull. This is why in a lot of my videos, I have so much hair in the back out because that just, that, mm -mm, I ain't got time for it. You know, I can deal with it around here, little bumps or whatever, but in the back, I can't do it because I sweat so bad on my neck, y'all. And then when I start sweating, them bumps start burning when I itch it. I ain't got time for all that. But 
Yeah, that's what I did. I actually have two bobby pins because when I was shedding it on this side, I think I cut a couple of them a little too short, and now them suckers won't stay in the freaking ponytail. So I have bobby, uh, bobby pins, the little skinny ones. I think they're called bobby pins. Bobby pins in it to keep the the flyaway hair in place. You can see my bun is messy. Y'all, I just got up this morning, took my shower, put my clothes on, got ready for work. I didn't even comb this. This is the way I went to bed last night with it wrapped up. I didn't even comb it. But what I am going to do, possibly, maybe tonight tonight or tomorrow, I'm just going to show you guys how I wrap my hair up at night. And it's nothing fancy. It's something simple. It works for me. It might not work for everybody. It does work for me. But hopefully we're going to get that video done. I do want to try to do a couple more videos, you guys. Some, I just might not come on here and talk. I might just do a video in the life of me and my husband and the baby, like I did before, but it's right now, you know, just having simple conversations. I might even just get my hubby the phone one day and just let him make a video. I might just get my daughter the phone one day and let her make a video. And please, you guys, no rude comments. You know you're going to be blocked and deleted if you do. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Yes, I'm going to get out of here, go do a couple of rounds, and I love you guys so, so much. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and your support. Without you guys, Lady T Boss Up is nothing. This channel is nothing. So without you guys, there is no me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share my video. Get the word out, you guys. We are at 102. 102. 102. 102. Took it back old school on you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much. And peace. I love you guys.